working on in this spreadsheet is uh, we're trying to program the spreadsheet to do a, a change of base, change a decimal number into some other base. What I have so far is um, is this little program that takes a, a decimal with a fraction and then converts that into, I'm saying, a base 5 number. So 101.101. And we have one section of the Excel sheet right up here which works with the integer part of the number and another part of the Excel sheet right in here that works with the fraction part of the number. Now the issue that I'm trying to address now is one of cosmetics. And notice that when I take the integer decimal 101 and I convert it into base 5, I get something that looks like 401, but I have these leading zeros here. These leading zeros come from the fact that as I do these calculations and compute these values along this row, I take the numbers, take this number, put it in here, this number, put it next to it, and so on down the line until I get this 401 with all these leading zeros. I don't want those leading zeros. It's not the way we write numbers. So what I want to do is figure out a way of getting rid of those leading zeros. And in order to do that, what I'm trying to do is, uh, is the following. I make the observation that I start getting all these leading zeros. Okay, uh, when do I get a zero down here and it's going to be a leading zero? It's a leading zero whenever this and this are both equal to zero. Whenever that happens, I never generate another non-zero number in the program. But I can get a zero there, but this isn't zero. And I, so I'm still going with the number. I don't want to stop and not do any more calculations. I only want to stop doing the calculations when I have a zero over a zero. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at how these calculations are done and then trying to substitute in um, uh, a logical um, set of statements that determine that if both of these are zero, then I just don't, I just print nothing rather than put a zero here. Okay, so I want to put nothing here instead of a zero. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, and so on. So I'm using these logical statements as I've shown right here. I have if, and, and, and so on. Let, let me explain how this works here. here I'll, I'll expand it out there. So the and statement says that if OX is equal to zero and O7 is equal to zero, if both of these are true, what prints, um, I, so it's checking to see are both of these true. Both of these are true. The and statement is true. Now, if that and statement is true, the if statement prints what's in this for between these two commas. What's between these two commas is, quote, quote, there's no space in between them. So that is the Excel way of saying put nothing there. But if this and statement is false, it'll put a zero there. Okay, and zero isn't necessarily what I want. I'm going to have to put something here, something else there. But so if both 06 and 07 are equal to zero, the and statement is true and it should print nothing. If one of these is not zero, it should print something else. And in this case, the zero is just a space holder. But what I want it to print instead of something else is I want it actually to print what should go in the cell. So I'm going to take a statement like this if and statement and I want to plug it in right in here and then I want to print whatever should go there. I want to do something similar in this cell, another if and statement, and print whatever should go there. So what should go here is this statement, integer n6 slash divided by n6 divided by o2. What goes here is mod n6 comma o2. So this is what I want to do. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Go back and look what I have right here. I say if and 06 equals 0. What is the formula that calculates 06? 
the formula that calculates O6 is this formula. So I'm going to take this formula right here and copy it. And then I'm going to go down here, right here, and I'm going to put it, replace it in for O6, right there. Whatever goes in there, O6. Paste. And if I hit return, I should still get zero, and I do. Now what I want to do is look at what goes in for O7. When, right here. What is O7? How, what is the formula for calculating what's in O7? O7 is this, this cell. I look here. It's this mod. So I copy this. Copy. Now I go down here and plug that in for O7 because that's the formula that calculates the O7. Okay. Now, if both of these were zero, I want to print nothing. But if they're both, one or both is not zero, I want to print whatever should go in to O6. So what goes, what should go into O6? So let me look at that. What goes into O6 is this statement, integer, whatever. So I take this, copy, go down here, and I print. Put that right in here. There. Hit return. So I should get zero, and I do. Okay, so this is doing the same calculation that I'm doing to get this. Okay, so I, if, if these are both zero, however, it will put nothing in that space. So let me replace this statement by this statement and, uh, and see uh, if, if indeed that's what happens here. So what I want to do is copy this. I'll copy everything to the right of the equal sign. Copy. Now I go and I hit escape to get me out of that, uh, out of that uh, command structure in Excel. Then I come up here click on that, and what I want right of the equal sign is what I just copied, paste. So now I have that. Now I'll hit return. Okay, so this is my calculation. Ignore this area. This is my calculation for what should go into 06. What should go into 07 now? Well, I'm going to use exactly the same formula that I had for 06. So let me do it in a separate location. I'm going to take this exact same formula Put it here below. So this is where I'm going to put my calculation. I don't know what went wrong there. Paste. And then I'll put an equal sign. I should still get zero because it's the same formula. But what I want to do is I want to output whatever computed give me the four, which is this modulo. So I copy this. Then Go down to there, go down to here. And so instead of outputting this integer statement, I want to output a modulo statement. OK, now hit return. And that gives me the four. So this statement here, right along here, and this statement here, are much more complicated versions involving a lot of logic, but they substitute exactly for 06 and 07. So um, now let me try um, now let me just try this. Suppose I take these two statements and I drag them over here. What do I get? I get nothing. Why? Because 06 and 07 have a 0 and 4, but P has 0 and 0. They're both zeros. So let's see what's here. What's here is if and, now both of these are true, this integer statement here, and then P7 equals 0. Well, I don't want a P7 equals, I don't want that statement here. I don't want 07 equals 0 here. So I, that was a mistake. Let me see. 
what I want here is I, I don't want 07 equal there. What I want is what we compute for 07. So let me also replace this. What we compute for 07 is this modulo. So wherever 07 appears, I want to put what computes for 07. Copy down here. What computes for 07 is that modulo statement. Paste, return. And what computes for 07 here is that same modulo statement. Paste, return. I still get the four. So I, I had a slight error there. I hadn't replaced uh, what was in for 07. I, I, I had to replace the formula that I actually used to compute 07. Now let me recopy this. Copy this thing. Copy. Let me go to 06. Paste it there. Hit return. I should get zero. Now let me copy this. Copy. Go here. Paste. Return. I should get four. Okay. So this has the formulas for 06 and 07 replacing the values for 06 and 07, replacing the, the, the specific call to cells 06 and 07 that I had before, I have actually replaced what is computed to give me the value in 06 and 07. So now my simple statements that I had up here for 06 and 07 uh, are now a lot more complicated. Here still I have 07 is wrong here. Now let me take this whole thing right here, copy it, and replace it right in here. Somehow that didn't get in there. I want to replace this whole thing. Now hit return. Okay. Okay, so this should be the formula for 06 without there. So this is all the formula for 06. This is all the formula for 07. Okay, now let me, let's just see what happens down here if I take these two cells and drag them to the right. So this now, which should appear in P6 and P7, drag it to the right one more, Q6 and Q7. So this is giving me the right thing. Instead of giving me writing zeros here, I'm now getting the blank spaces, which is what I wanted to get here, right? So let me copy those in there here. Let me take this, which is that long complicated formula, this, which is a long complicated formula, copy them both, select them both, and then copy them all the way over. Now, it doesn't like this in here. I wonder why. Let me do edit, undo autofill. Okay. So here I have these two. And when I copy them over, I get blanks. I get blanks. Um, okay. But when I put them up on top, I don't get blanks. So, uh, let me stop right here. Let me investigate that a little bit, uh, and then um, I'll do my next video.